Okay, tell me your full name and where you're from. Uh, Kelly Wyant, and I live in Highland Village, Texas. Highland Village, Texas. All right, and tell me what uh, what was life like before you began training with us? Um, I'm a busy mom, so I'm constantly on the go. I have a husband who travels a lot, so I'm everything and everything <laughs> running around all the time. Um, I play a lot of tennis, so that's where I get my primary. Um, exercise and release from so uh, I uh, play like four or five times a week and um, pretty much if I got that in that was it for exercise I belong to a club and unless Steve is like we're going to the club today uh, I didn't quite get there um, once in a while I come down and work on our treadmill and we got an elliptical so I did that but not a lot of outside of tennis because that that kind of takes up a lot of hours in my day. Absolutely. So, um, and and so what all? I mean, so you did some some mostly tennis. You mostly did tennis. Did, a lot of walking. We did have some light, walking. A lot of trails Good. here. Good walking and cardio. What other things did you try to do in the past when you wanted to really try to get into shape? What were some of those things? Um, getting in shape, running. Um, I would get out there and run, but as I get older, it's harder on my joints, um, and I don't really enjoy it as much. I've run marathons, I've run half marathons, and I just wasn't willing to go there again. Um, <clears throat> I did, we belonging to a club, um, my husband got me set up with a trainer, did some training um, there, but uh, it was basically an in and out, maybe two times a week for an hour, how much weight can you lift? And you know, I'm an athlete, so if I when I get a trainer, they basically say, "Oh, well, she can do a lot," so they keep piling it on. And I found that as I trained for a period of time, I would just bulk up, and I could, you know, it's I'm like I, I don't want that kind of getting in shape. I wanted more slendering and more, you know, I want to see the results. But <clears throat> with them, it was tough. So. Yeah. Um, and it got a couple of injuries because I was trying to lift too much weight, and uh, and so that was kind of a detriment. But so, always, you know, between running and maybe going to the club and doing some of the machines there and kind of picking and choosing some weights, you know, that was basically that's it. That's basically it. So, so with those injuries, how did that affect you? I mean, when you went in there and tried to overdo it, how did that affect you? How long did those injuries stay with you? Oh, uh, I pulled my hamstring, so that, I mean, that still stays with me. I, in fact, Chris is working with me through some of that, just being careful not to, because I tweaked it a little bit playing tennis a little while ago yeah. again, and so it, it has stayed with me for a long time. Yeah, and that's a good example of a lot of folks who kind of jump in it without that type of guidance right. and really injured themselves and it's staying with them for a long period of time so exactly gotcha exactly. all right uh now were, were you skeptical at uh whether we could really help you <laughs> achieve your goals <laughs> <laughs> well it wasn't really my choice um <clears throat> as you know um when we got the elliptical and you came out and helped us with it um it was like, okay, well, that's great. And then sitting down and you, you know, well, would you like to hear my program? Oh, well, sure, why not? Well, my husband, he has always been conscious of his nutrition and, and really um, has come from a heavier set family, always had um, weight issues. So for him to want to eat healthy all the time, it wasn't in my my plan at all because I love to cook and I love to bake and I have that stuff around all the time. I'll make lasagna, I'll make all this stuff that he just comes home and goes, I guess I'm eating this tonight, you know, and it really, he doesn't, because it's good, he doesn't know how to portion control it. So he, when he heard that you had, part of the plan was, you know, we're going to take you and break apart what you're eating and get you on a program where you know how to eat right the right way. My husband signed me up. Yeah. So I, it was really like, <laughs> oh, okay, you're, yeah, you're signing me up for another, <laughs> another uh, program, great. So um, I went into it saying, okay, you know what, I'll give it my best shot. And, and you know, if it's gonna work, I will stick to it. 
So when I first saw the, uh, the nutrition part of it, I was like, whoa, I'm going to be eating like a bird. And because I'm so active and I, you know, I'm doing my training with Chris and I'm playing tennis five times a week and I'm running around and I'm still walking dogs and doing, you know, all this stuff. Um, I found that when we started eating, I was starving because I was burning so many calories and Chris's workouts were so awesome and I'm throwing in my cardio on top of tennis. Now I'm trying to run a little bit. I'm trying to do my elliptical a little bit just to get my heart rate in tune because tennis, yeah, during matches, if it's a three hour long intense match, yeah, I'll burn a lot of calories. But you know, sometimes you're done in an hour and a half and it's like, oh, you know, that wasn't a real great workout. So um, the nutrition part of it really, um, and, and because of the results, we're like, ooh, she needs a few more calories. So working that, working the cardio and working the strength, um, it's just the total, all three of those things together. I never knew how much, how important the nutrition part of it was. Gotcha. And were you kind of surprised when we were telling you, hey, you got to bump up calorie, you got to eat more to get the results that you're looking for? Oh, we did. We bumped up, and I, I can't remember how far into it. We went from, you know, 1,500 calories up to 1,700. And even at 1,700, by the time I got to 1,700, I was okay with 1,500. Yeah. You know, it, it wasn't like, and, and 200 calories might seem like nothing, but when you're getting, when you've gotten used to eating 1,500 calories and you're eating little meals throughout the day and you're throwing in your shakes and you're throwing in your bars and stuff, you really don't get hungry. No. Um, I think the first week or two was tough. Yeah. I was, I was like, I, I, I need something more. But once my body got used to it and used to eating right, I think, um, even, I mean, Chris, like, you gotta go up to 1900 <laughs> calories now because I just keep burning. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so it's, uh, it, it's tough. I mean, I, I think I can splurge a little more here and there, yeah. which, I mean, everybody's gonna do it, but I think the first six weeks I didn't touch a thing that was not on my program. On my program. And yes, I've had a glass of wine <laughs> here and there, but not, you know, so, I mean, it, it's just nice. I mean, it, it's been it's been a real eye opener, and great. it's been great for Steve too. Great. So. Now, and that's a good point you made. I mean, even though you had to make the changes to your nutrition program, you know, you could still splurge. You could still have that glass right. of wine at times. You could still, you know, do some of the things that you still enjoy doing, but it right. didn't knock you off no. track. Uh uh. Uh uh. That's great. So yeah. speaking of that, let's talk about your results. <laughs> you know, and we've got some stats here for just the first nine weeks. We're getting ready to do our 12-week uh, reevaluation. Mm -hmm. But in a nine-week period, uh, how many inches did you drop? 12.75 inches. <laughs> Which is great. How much weight did you lose in that period of time? Well, starting at 100. 19 or something which to me is not it's probably like five pounds overweight from what I normally have been yeah. for 25 years um, I went from like 119 and a half or something down to 106 I believe yeah yeah so, so you dropped 13 pounds right. in that period of time and the big thing is your body uh, fat percentage uh, Looks like you started at 20.7 right. and you dropped down to... 10.9. Yeah, <laughs> about half. He's like, you dropped 10% body fat. <laughs> so when I ask you a question, I mean, what is the best shape you've been in as an adult? When is that? has that been? Oh, as I mean, this is the best shape I've ever been in. I mean, I, I played college volleyball. I did run marathons. I played open volleyball after college. I mean... I was always in athlete shape, but never l lean and you know, mu you know, muscular, strong, you know, strong. And my cardio is worked up. I mean, I I've never been in this kind of shape before. That's great. And yeah. and do you feel like it is because of how complete your program is now? Oh, you know, I, I can say oh, it's been you know because I'm working out, but. 
without the without the nutrition part of it, I I, I mean I think I would have had some results if yeah. I just did strength and cardio, but just knowing eating, getting the fat out of your system and drinking the water and not drinking three Diet Cokes a day and, uh, you know, sometimes two Starbucks and, and that's it, you know, like just going all day without eating yeah, and then when I find some, you know. <laughs> when we did your profile, it was like one meal a day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. And you're like, wow, I have no energy. You know? <laughs> exactly, yeah, you know, you're at school and you're volunteering all day or something, I'm like, well, I'll just bring a Diet Coke with me, that'll get me through. and. Um, you just realize that your body is screaming for yep. nutrients and food. What What do you bring with you now instead of Diet Cokes? Um, gosh, I've grabbed apples. I always carry my water bottle. I either have my water bottle or another water bottle. Um, oh gosh, I've had. I, I bring all sorts of stuff. Grapes. I mean, instead of I'll eat my you know my sandwich with my spinach and stuff. And instead of my chips, I have grapes yeah. or, you know, Making something else. Yeah. yeah. Just in, and, and just always having fruit. I yeah. mean, I just always have a piece of fruit running out the door. Great. Right. Instead of chips. Yeah. You know, and Diet Coke. Yeah. That, that, that can help. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, you were hesitant about me coming out and making you client of the month, but there's a reason you are a client of the month and that's because, you know, you you've gone down the same path that most people have gone down, or a lot of women have. You know, it's just exercise more, eat less, and right. thinking that will solve these problems, and that's not. And, and finally, you put it all together, and you got better results than you ever achieved. And, yeah. and now you've got all the tools that you need to be successful for the rest of your life. And we congratulate you for implementing. Oh, we congratulate you for having a husband. To, to do it. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> and, right. And we look forward to your continued fitness success. All right. Thanks, Seth. Thank you.